वेलकम टू हिमानी कोचिंग सेंटर दिस इज अवर थर्ड वीडियो ऑन जी एस टी इट इज इन कॉन्टिन्यूएशन टू आवर क्वेश्चन इन जी एस टी लास्ट वीडियो जी एस टी टू सो इन दैट वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट थ्री डीलर्स ए बी एंड सी वे ए सेल्स गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज टू बी फॉर फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड देन बी सेल्स द सेम गुड्स एंड सर्विस टू ट्रेडर सी एट अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड रुपीज वी वर ask to find tax liability of b if the net rate of gst is 12% so we calculated cp for b and we found since it is all of them are different states so only igst is to be paid so igst paid by b is 60 rupees and this is also called input tax of b now b Made a profit of two hundred rupees, so selling price for B becomes seven hundred rupees, and the IGST collected by B from C would be twelve percent of seven hundred, which is eighty four rupees. This is called output tax. Now, the tax liability would be output tax minus input tax, so eighty four minus sixty rupees, which is Twenty-four rupees. Okay, those of you who are watching this video directly, my suggestion is go back to previous two videos, and then you will understand because these three videos are in continuation. Now let us take another sum. Okay, on GST. <coughs> so now i am moving to exercise 1b i am using the same book concise mathematics 2020 edition okay and i am now looking at question 2 exercise 1b it says goods services are sold from agra state is up to kanpur again state is up for 20000 rupees and then from kanpur to jaipur which is in rajasthan If the rate of GST is eighteen percent and the profit made at Kanpur is five thousand rupees, find the net GST payable by the dealer at Kanpur. And second part is cost of goods services at Jaipur. Okay. Now, what is happening in the first part? A dealer in Kanpur is selling to. another dealer in kanpur okay that means only cgst and sgst are applicable okay and we know that if gst is given so they are saying gst is 18% therefore cgst should be equal to sgst and it should be 9% because they are equally distributed so now let us understand <clears throat> so what is happening from agra the good has been sold from agra which is in up to kanpur which is again in up so we are supposed to find for kanpur dealer now in the first part let us understand cp for kanpur dealer is 20000 rupees okay and gst is 18% so dealer at kanpur will pay cgst of 9% of 20000 yeah and if you calculate this it would be rupees 1800 similarly SGST <coughs> would be nine percent of again twenty thousand, which is again going to be eighteen hundred rupees. So, what is the input tax paid by Kanpur dealer? It is rupees three thousand six hundred. Okay. Now let us go to second part. When the dealer in Kanpur sells the good or service 
to a dealer in Jaipur. Now the state has changed. So obviously only IGST would be paid. Now, so and the profit which the Ganpur dealer is making is 5000 rupee. That means SP of Kanpur dealer is 25,000 rupees. Okay. His cost price was 20,000, 5,000 profit. I am adding it. Now, what is the tax which this dealer will collect from the dealer in Jaipur? So, he is going to collect 18% of 25,000 under IGST because in interstate transfer only IGST is applicable so you have your 18 by 100 into 25,000 so his he has collected IGST of 4500 this is called output tax okay for the dealer in Kanpur his input tax is 3600 his output tax is 4500 so the tax liability for this dealer is going to be output tax minus input tax so 4500 minus 3600 and that is rupees 900 is the tax liability for the dealer in at Kanpur okay now the second part of the question is the cost of goods and services at Jaipur understand for the Jaipur guy his cost price is 25,000 and he has paid a GST of 4,500 so the bill amount for Jaipur dealer would be 25,000 plus 4,500 which is rupees 29,500 okay I hope this is clear because in this we have seen intrastate from Agra to Kanpur wherein only CGST and SGST was paid and then from Kanpur to Jaipur which is Rajasthan which is interstate and only IGST component was paid. Please understand for the purpose of GST we look at the input tax in whatever form and output tax and final tax liability is output tax minus input tax okay so this is how we solve these questions